Hey everyone, Caffeine Man here, and today we're going over another Rockstar product. And that Rockstar product is Rockstar Pure Zero. Several weeks ago, I did my very first Rockstar review, and that was for the Rockstar Exterrence. Then, a lot of people said, hey, you know, you need to try out the Pure Zero line from Rockstar too. So here I am today, trying out the Pure Zero Rockstar, just for you guys. And I have five out of the six flavors to try out today. And when I'm done, I have no idea where I'm gonna put them. I mean, I just don't know. Hello again everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. If it's your first time here and you want to stay informed on all things caffeine related, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I post new videos every Tuesday night. And if you're not new here and you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, why not? Do you not like me? Is the jury still out whether, eh, should I subscribe, should I not subscribe? I mean, you've watched my other videos. This isn't your first time here. Hit the subscribe button. Also, if you're looking for me on social media, you can find me on LinkedIn at CaffeineMan1. <laughs> what? You don't have LinkedIn either? Jeez, guys, you're killing me. All right, fine. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all at CaffeineMan1. So what are we going over today? Well, usually I give you a brief rundown of the company, but I already gave you a rundown of the company in the last video, and I hate repeating myself. So if you want to know more about Rockstar, feel free to check out my first video on Rockstar. But, you know, I might give you some additional tidbits on Rockstar, as well as the sugar epidemic in America. Then I'll go over the ingredients in this drink that make it a little different from the other energy drinks, and then I'll finish up with a taste test. If you want to skip ahead to any specific part because you don't want to listen to all the blah blah blah, I include timestamps in the description down below so you can go where you want to go. Rockstar is the third largest energy drink company out there, and you already know the first two. And in order to stay highly ranked, you kind of need to do what everyone else is doing or stay ahead of the curve as well. So in 2013, they needed to change up their energy drink line a little bit and add some sugar-free options. Why is that? Well, slowly, over the last decade or so, a lot of people have been coming a lot more aware of how bad sugar actually is for you. Now, I know plenty of you are saying, we already know how bad sugar is for you, but that's all dependent on how old you are. A lot of my subscribers are a lot younger than I am, so they may be aging into this information as opposed to already knowing it. And I even have a bit of a younger crowd too that probably already know it because of how society has been portraying it recently. And to tell you the truth, it really is society that's been forcing this change. In a world where corporate America has been tricking people into buying their products, making them think that they're healthy for such a long time, people are starting to get fed up with it. You don't know, maybe you do, but you don't know how many people, including myself, thought that drinking Arizona green tea was healthy for you. I used to use it as a healthy option instead of drinking soda. I mean, how can you not think that green tea with ginseng and honey is not good for you? It's gotta be good for you. Obviously, it's green tea, ginseng, and honey. All amazingly healthy ingredients, right? But when you take a look at the back of the can, do I have one? I have one, don't I? I do have one. So when you, I was gonna include a picture, but now I got this. When you take a look at the back of the can, well, you probably can't read that either. So I will include a picture right here. This can has 17 grams of sugar. Not too bad. Eh. This can also has approximately three servings. This one says approximately three. The one I saw online said two and a half. I guess they decided to round up. But you're looking upwards of 42 grams of sugar, which is over your maximum suggested amount for the day. So rather than drinking this, why not just drink a 12 ounce can of cherry Coke? you're gonna get the same amount of sugar. So with people being tricked like this left and right, the people demanded more transparency in their ingredients and the Nutrition Facts panel. Stricter regulations have been put on Nutrition Facts panel and ingredients so that they can be more upfront labeling. Yet companies still try and trick you by putting numbers that just don't make sense on the Nutrition Facts label. But now with low carb diets, super low carb diets like keto diets, people concerned about their sugar intake due to medical conditions such as diabetes, and people just worried about their health in general, adults are starting to watch their sugar count a lot more closely. And they're also teaching their kids more about sugar. And now don't get me wrong, my parents definitely tried not to give me too much sugar when I was a kid, but what parent doesn't try to withhold sugar from their kids because we know how hyper they can get. But my parents never actually taught me about how bad sugar is for you, they just didn't want me to have it. But now parents and even teachers Teachers are educating children about healthy choice options and that is a huge plus for America. And why do I specify America? Because a lot of other countries already have regulations on how much sugar they can put in their foods. And thus, corporate America, still wanting to be profitable, needs to adjust to the consumer demands. And the ever so popular sugar-packed rock star needed to make some changes as well. And they needed to release Pure Zero. So let's take a look 
at the Nutrition Facts panel. And taking a look at the Nutrition Facts panel, we'll see all your standard zeros. Zero calories, zero sugar, zero protein. But we do see that there is one carb in there, which is probably from the large amount of erythritol that they put in there. And you may have noticed that this can is two servings, therefore there are two carbs in there. I mean, it's still keto friendly, depending on how hardcore keto you are. And it has 200% of all your standard energy drink B vitamins. For some of the special ingredients that are different than some of the other standard energy drinks, it uses Panax ginseng extract, guarana seed extract, milk thistle extract, inositol, and glucuronolactone. Thank you, thank you, yes, I've been getting a little better at this. Glucuronolactone. As for the sweeteners, Rockstar is known for being very, very sweet. So how are they going to do with this Pure Zero with zero sugar in it? Well, they definitely want to stay sweet. So they're not just going to be using a whole heck of a lot of sucralose. They're actually going to be using a lot of erythritol. Erythritol is the third listed ingredient in the ingredients list, which means there's a lot of erythritol in here. Erythritol is about 70% of the sweetness of actual sugar, so it makes sense that they're going to have to use more. But they do also use sucralose and ACE-K. So that's three of of the top artificial sweeteners in this product to help keep it sweet. We'll see how they do. What about caffeine? For this Pure Zero Rockstar line, they actually kicked up their caffeine count in comparison to their regular Rockstar energy drinks. The original line has 160 milligrams, which is your standard 10 milligrams per ounce. And actually, when Pure Zero was first released, it also had 160 milligrams. But somewhere along the line, they actually switched it to have 240 milligrams of caffeine for the same 16 ounce can, putting it much closer to the pre-workout status of 300 milligrams. And it's probably because pre-workout people like to use this drink as well. Anyone who actually works out knows that the pre-workout ingredients in these pre-workout drinks are relatively insignificant to actually have any effect. Any of the zero sugar options that are high in caffeine are great for pre-workout. Because we all know that it's the 300 milligrams of caffeine that's really doing the heavy lifting in these drinks. So the fact that these Pure Zero line doesn't have any sugar makes it great for pre-workout, as well as potentially a keto option, depending on how strict you are. At 240 milligrams, it still gives you a pretty serious kick, which will be good for your workouts, because sometimes 300 might be just a little bit too much for some people, but they still wanted to go higher than the 160 to make it a little bit better than those other drinks. So let's go ahead and taste them out. As I mentioned in my opening, I was only able to get my hands on five of the six flavors. I'm missing the grape flavor, but my best guess is if the orange is good, the grape's going to be good. For some reason, those two flavors have a tendency to go together. If you like orange, you like grape. I don't know. And speaking of orange, let's just start off with the orange one first. First up is the mandarin orange. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Get yourself a nice orange color here. You got an orange flavor drink. Should be orange colored. It's orange. Let's taste it out. Wow, I like that. It's got a good orange flavor. Now, as a side note, when I do my reviews, as some of you may know, I always say, oh yeah, it tastes like orange, but you know, it's supposed to taste like orange. But I've actually had a few drinks that mess up the orange. I mean, orange is a pretty distinct flavor. If you can't make your energy drink taste like orange, don't call it orange. That being said, this, it's a good orange flavor. And in my reviews, I'm always sensitive to the sucralose when it comes to the sugar-free drinks because there are a lot of people that are sensitive to it. And I'm actually a touch sensitive to it, so I can usually taste it. But these drinks don't use a lot of sucralose, so you can't even taste any sucralose at all in this drink because it uses erythritol. When it comes to energy drinks, a lot of people don't like aftertaste. There's no aftertaste in this. Very exciting. Carbonation is a medium to high carbonation. As for the sweetness, it's a medium to high sweetness as well. And I like the sweetness because it really balances out that citrusy orange flavor. Overall, where's it gonna go on the caffeine man rating chart? Even though I personally don't like orange that much, it's a really good orange flavor. So I'm putting this at an 8.2. I'm probably gonna have to change my master list now for the companies though, to separate them out by line. Cause Rockstar didn't get that great of a rating. The Rockstar's endurance were pretty good. We'll see where the Rockstar zeros fall in there. On to the next one. Next up we have the Silver Ice. This one's got kind of a clear cloudy color. It's kind of a white color for ice. Takes it out. All right, 
It's got your typical ice flavor to it, but it's really more towards like a fresca, the light lemon lime flavor to it. If anything, I'd say it's more towards a fresca than the ice flavor drinks. There's a lot of those ice and frost that taste like that ice and frost flavor that I can't actually ever seem to describe except by ice and frost flavors. This one has a hint of that ice flavor to it, but it's much closer to a lot of the white drinks that the other energy drink companies have as well. From here on out, I'll tell you that the carbonation is a medium to high carbonation. So unless any of the other drinks stray from that, I'm not gonna talk about that anymore. And the sweetness is still a medium to high sweetness. So if it's not medium to high sweetness, I'll let you know. Otherwise, you can assume that it's a medium to high sweetness. Therefore, if they're all relatively the same, we can focus on just the flavor. This is a good white flavor. It's a good ice flavor. So where am I gonna put it on the Caffeine Man rating chart? I'm giving this a solid 8.0. I think they did a great job with it. And once again, ice really isn't my thing. But if you guys like the white monsters, which I know some of you do, try out the Silver Ice from Pure Zero by Rockstar. Let me know in the comments down below how you think it compares to the Monster White. I love it when you guys leave me comments. On to the next one. Next up, we're gonna try the Punched, which is basically their fruit punch. Ooh, splashy. Oh, isn't that pretty? I was expecting red, instead I got pink. Oh, not bad, let's taste it out. Hmm, wow, this is actually pretty good. Well, let me rephrase that. This is actually really good. It's definitely different from the other fruit punches I had. It threw me off a little bit because normally when I review fruit, fruit flies, ironic. Normally when I review fruit punches, they usually all have a strong fruit punch flavor. Makes sense. Not all of them do though. Some of the companies messed up the fruit punch. Not mentioning, not mentioning any names. But this, it doesn't have a strong fruit punch flavor to it. it. Definitely has a fruit punch taste to it. But it's like their own version of fruit punch. They changed it up a little bit. Still got that medium to high sweetness, which I said I wasn't gonna mention. But several of the other fruit punches I had usually tasted like a sweeter fruit punch. This one reminds me almost like a candied fruit punch. It's not really hitting you with that heavy fruit punch flavor. It's not like that Kool-Aid fruit punch, Tropicana fruit punch, whatever fruit punch, you know, has that really strong fruit punch flavor. This has got like a light fruit punch flavor, but still strong in sweetness. But overall, I really like it. Somehow, it's got a strong flavor to it, even though it's a light fruit punch flavor. Where am I gonna put it on the Caffeine Man rating chart? I actually like it better than a lot of the other fruit punches out there. I think a lot of the other fruit punches can be too sweet. And even though this is fairly sweet, that mix of fruit punch flavor and sweetness in the other ones is a little too much. I think this has a healthy mix of fruit punch flavor and sweetness. Therefore, I'm putting this one 8.4. Next up is gonna be the watermelon. For a while now, I've been looking for a good watermelon. I don't really think any company has nailed the watermelon flavor. That could just be my opinion though. I think Adrenaline Shock did a pretty good job with it. It's my favorite one so far out of all the ones I've tried. I think the Rain Melon Mania is very good. It doesn't taste just like watermelon though. It's got some other melon flavors in there as well, thus Melon Mania. And I'm also a huge fan of the Hydro Manic Melon. It's got a pretty solid watermelon flavor with a mix of other melons in there. And it's hard to compare it to the other drinks because it's non-carbonated. It's more like a highly caffeinated Powerade made by monster so to relate them to other carbonated energy drinks it's a little difficult but it is one of my top flavors i've already tried this one in the past so i already know where it rates on the caffeine man rating chart but i'm gonna try it again see if things change maybe i got a bad can not to say that it was bad if i didn't know any better i'd say this is the punched actually it's a little darker than the punched taste it out It still as I remember it. It's not bad. Like I said, I'm still looking for a watermelon to wow me. And I haven't found a wow me watermelon yet. A wow me watermelon. I'm pretty sure if I ever make my own energy drink, which I don't ever plan on doing, I'm gonna make a kick butt melon and I'm gonna call it wow me wellin. I'm gonna call it wow me melon. I'm gonna call it wow me melon. Wow me melon. Oh, someone's gonna steal it before that actually. And since I don't plan on making it, then no one's gonna steal it before me. If you decide to come up with your own energy drink, make sure you make a good watermelon and call it wow me watermelon. I was hoping that the new bang flavor was gonna be a watermelon. When they first started teasing it, it was red and green on a white can. I thought red and green could be watermelon. Instead it was Miami Cola. But bang, if you're listening, if you watch my videos, I've done a lot of videos for you guys. So hopefully there's someone in there watching me, keeping an eye on Caffeine Man to make sure I'm saying good things about you. Why haven't you guys made a watermelon yet? Bang. Do wow me watermelon. 1% cut. That's all I ask for using the name. <laughs> so where was I? Oh man. It's the 
fourth one this time. It's got a decent watermelon flavor. I'd like to have a little bit more watermelon, similar to the fruit punch. The flavor of the watermelon's a bit light. Still has that medium to high sweetness and carbonation to it. If they could just add just a little bit more watermelon flavor, give it more watermelon punch, would move right up that Caffeine Man rating chart. Instead, it's the weakest link so far, but still not too weak on the Caffeine Man rating chart. It's not bad, it's at a 7.5. Moving on to the last one. For the last one, we have the tangerine mango guava strawberries, all right? Yes! I didn't think I'd be able to remember all those words. Four words, way too many for me to remember. I believe this is the newest one on the market. And with all those flavors in there, tangerine, mango, guava, strawberry, I have no idea what it's gonna taste like. I mean, it's gonna taste like those flavors. But I saved it for last, because it's the newest one, and I think it's gonna wow me. Like that wow me watermelon someone's gonna create. Man, pure zero, they like their pink colors. That's a pink one. I mean, that looks like the punched one. Let's see how good my memory is. Here's some punched one. You ready? Oh, I'm gonna hold it closer so you guys can get some color. This is the newest one. Here comes the punch one. Almost identical. Look at that. Let's taste it out. Oh wow, that that is that's weird. Oh, it's a good weird, but I'm I'm going it again. I'll tell you what happened. I actually started to breathe in a little through my nose when I went to drink it, and it smelled like tangerine. Yeah, you can smell the tangerine in there, but then I didn't taste tangerine. It's like my video last week where I was talking about apples tasting like oranges and oranges tasting like bananas, whatever I was talking about. It was weird. So now I'm not gonna breathe in through my nose when I taste it. I'm just gonna straight up taste it. I'll hold my nose. No, I can't hold my nose. Weird. Wow. Yeah, that's, that is, this is good, guys. I mean, you guys, you guys know how I like to talk about balance. I am definitely getting a little bit of tangerine in there because tangerine isn't as strong as the orange flavor. I'm definitely getting some strawberry in there. I'm a fan of strawberry flavors as well. There's not a lot of strawberries out there, which I'm surprised by because strawberry is a good flavor. But this has got a good strawberry. It's got a good tangerine in there. I taste a hint of the guava as well and like a little bit of that mango. I mean, they're all, they're all in there beating each other up for competing for first place of which one's the strongest flavor and they're all I gotta drink some more wow that is good and my mouth is so conflicted right now because I don't like acidic stuff like I don't like oranges because they're too acidic but I don't mind the orangey kind of flavor so this has got that tangerine flavor and as soon as I'm like oh tangerine oh strawberry I'm like yeah I like strawberry oh there's mango too and guava is like hey don't forget about me I'm like I know you're in there too not enough room in my mouth for all those flavors I gotta tell you, Caffeine Man is excited about this. If you can't tell, I'm excited. I mean, you know that usually by the time I'm at my fifth or sixth drink, I'm pretty excited anyway. I'm talking really fast, but I'm gonna try and focus on the flavor here. I like this flavor. It's strange, it's weird at first. I haven't really tasted anything like this before because it's got so many different flavors to it. Is it gonna become my favorite flavor in the world? No, no, I'm not saying that. But uh, anyway, I am a big fan of this. This is really good, guys. I think you guys should try it out. Let me know if you're as excited about it as I am. I think the carbonation is a little bit lighter, actually. I am gonna pour some more. <laughs> Not looking for an excuse to try more. But I wanna see if that carbonation is still a medium to high carbonation because I like a little lower carbonation. I'm surprised that I'm not burping right now. I would say the other ones were medium to high carbonation, but this is much more of a medium carbonation. It's really just a subtle difference, but I think that lightness makes me like it a little more too. Where's this one gonna be going on the Caffeine Man chart? I don't know, why don't you tell me, Joshua? Would you like to be called Josh? I don't know. He likes to guess what I'm going to rate them. Apparently in my last video, he guessed exactly one of them. Didn't win a prize or anything, unless a shout out in this video is considered a prize. So let me know what you think, Josh. What am I going to say? You're going to predict what I'm saying, huh? Huh? It's my favorite of the Rockstar Pure Zero line. It's going to 9.2. I like it a lot. 9.2 is a very solid score. It's a very high score on the Caffeine Man rating chart. And it's just really good in general. I encourage all of you to go out and try it if you haven't tried it yet. So there you have it. That's the Pure Zero line by Rockstar. And I gotta admit, I am a bit surprised by it. I've never been a huge Rockstar fan, but that's because I tried them a long time ago early on. And I didn't really like their regular flavors. The first Pure Zero I had was a watermelon, and that was only a couple of weeks ago. Wasn't too impressed by it. So when I did this review, I went in kind of thinking it was gonna be, eh, it ended up actually being pretty good. Overall, I think this 
line as a whole is a more solid line than the Externs line. I think they're very consistent with their flavors. I think they did a great job with the sweetness. I mean, Rockstar is known for their sweetness, which is usually a bad thing for some people because, oh yeah, you don't want to have a lot of sugar. But they did a great job with the sweetness on this. I am a huge fan of erythritol because I think sucralose can taste too chemically. Anyway, overall on the Caffeine Man rating chart for a company, how does it compare with everybody else? It's at a solid 8.25. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you guys next Tuesday. For all you caffeine lovers, I'm going to give you a little hint. Extremely high caffeine count. Way up there. Next week's video. Stay tuned. Until next Tuesday, you guys have yourselves a great day. Or night. Got the motorcycle gang going by. Room. Definitely going to be soundproofing too once I get the remodel done. Got it all planned out. Not sure if I'll be able to cover up those motorcycles though. Freaking Harley guys. You Harley guys. You got any Harley guys out there? Disrupting my videos. Still going. Alright, now he's gone.